Gerald here. I'm Gerald. I am Maya. Hi guys, we are at the Castillo de Amorosa here in Napa Valley. We're gonna do some white wine tasting and some exploring. Yesterday, we drove from downtown San Francisco all the way to Novato, California and spent the night there. And today, we drove from Novato to Castillo de Amorosa for an hour. It is located at Calistoga, California, Napa Valley. It is a 14th century Tuscan inspired castle and winery. We didn't have a reservation so we had to stop by the gatehouse to check in. Make sure to make a reservation before your visit. Go to www.castilladeamorosa.com Good morning! So we don't have a reservation. Uh, do, what can we do? Can we do the area? checks if we have anything available? Sure. Do you want me to check? Yes. Yeah. Three. Three adults. Three adults. One. 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 Now we have a wine tasting reservation. It is $60 for adult, $25 for kids. Eat before coming here because they don't serve food. They have guided tours for $70 but you need to reserve it two weeks prior or depends on the availability. Wine tasting include five complimentary wine tasting and pretzel. For kids, they serve grape juice. Done with the check-in, let's go explore the castle first before we do the wine tasting. You can explore the castle as long as you want. The place is a good location for events like wedding. They have a chapel, banquet hall, and also a big courtyard.
The Castillo de Amorosa or Castle of Love is 30 years in the making and 15 years of actual construction. All doors, windows, and ironworks were made by Italian artisans. Olive trees. Oh. There's olive trees down there, and there's also a lot of grapes. We're done exploring for now. It's time for some wine tasting. As soon as we entered the wine tasting area, we smelled the awesome smell of fermenting grape juice. The peach bubble, exactly. The bubbles always make me happy. <laughs> and for you, little prince, I have the grape juice. You want to try my grape juice? It's the best grape juice on the earth. Yeah. Oh, I think so. And also can you please the some breadstick for you guys? Okay, thank you. Put sugar. Huh? Put sugar. That's not you. That's not for you. Later you're gonna you cannot it's gonna give it's gonna give you a grape juice, okay? This one is for old people. It's fancy like your hat. I love your hat. Grape juice! Is that your grape juice? Wow! Look at that! Enjoy! Enjoy guys! Thank you! Thank you! The medium way between a white and sweet. Dulcino in Italian, sweet. The sweet guy. It's like me. Thank you! Absolutely! Guys, welcome! So, beautiful aroma from the leech, the guava, the white ginger. So, nice sweetness. I really suggest in pairing with the, the spicy food, okay? So where are you? Tell them where are you? We're in Napa Valley. We're getting, we're getting, we're at the Napa Baby. <laughs> I have a question though. Please. Um, so when you age the wine, do, do you lose the alcohol or do you gain more? Um, no, basically we the alcohol is making during the fermentation, so we can select how much alcohol you wanna have in the wine. Okay, okay. So, it, it, what does uh, aging mean? Uh, aging mean, so if you look, we are losing alcohol, 
Probably just the a little bit. Yeah, just a little bit. Yeah. So, but it, the, 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 the aging process change the taste? Or? Oh, yeah, absolutely, absolutely, yes. Absolutely, yes. The more, more uh, you are aging, more the wine is going to be uh, complex inside. Okay, thank you. Absolutely. <laughs> Here we go guys, the most beautiful bottle on the earth, uh, our pop star, this is La Fantasia. Guys, only 7.5 alcohol, beautiful aroma came from the dry strawberry, mango and papaya. It's a uh, wine. Yeah, it's that for babies. Yeah, it's, uh, it's no, actually, it's soda for adults. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Salute, guys. Enjoy. 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 Okay. Oh, oh. Slowly, slowly, slowly. 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 Okay. 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 We love the La Fantasia, their soft sparkling Italian frizzante wine, and their Simpatica, which is a Riesling Moscato blend, and also a bottle of grape juice. <laughs> Now we are going to explore more of the castle to sober up. There are areas that are only accessible if you reserve the guided tour like the dungeon, wine cellars, fermentation room, and wine aging room. Book the guided tours two weeks prior for better experience and more castle tour access. We are done exploring the castle, let's explore the vineyard. The beautiful castle is surrounded by 171 acres of property, of which is a 30-acre grape farm. Some fruit-bearing trees like olives and pomegranate, they also have an animal farm. So we spent three more hours walking around the vineyard after the wine tasting. 
strolling grape farm, enjoying the view, walking around the castle where they have farm animals and olive trees before driving again to find some place to eat. By the way, they don't serve food. And outside food are not allowed. Please don't drink and drive. Always have a designated driver. There's a uh, barbecue. We got try beef, beef rib and pork rib. And then uh, got the hot dogs. Oh, hot dog. <laughs> and, okay, let's try their, bar their barbecue. And my fish. Oh. Yummy. Yeah. Mm hmm. That's it for today guys. Thank you for exploring with us on our wine tasting adventure at Napa Valley. Please don't forget to like, leave a comment, hit the notification bell, and subscribe to our channel The Wandering Explorers. And see you on our next video. Thank you.